beginning with the first drawer, I have all of my eyeliners, my eyebrow products, and my concealers and mascara. So starting with this first little compartment here, I've got all of my eyebrow products. Now, I've got a whole bunch of Anastasia Brow Wiz um, crayons and pencils. I've also got the clear um, brow gel from her, which I love. I've got an Ilua eyebrow uh, product, and then I've got two of the brow um, shaping kits from Benefit Cosmetics. In the second compartment here, I've got all of my eyeliners. So I've got two gel pod liners from Maybelline, both in black. I've got a whole bunch of different eyeliners, um, some in black and some in different colors. So just to kind of go through a few, I've got the Makeup Forever eyeliner. I've got a bunch of the Maybelline. Um, this is the Master Precise Liquid Liner in black. I've got a whole lot of them because they're my favorite. I've also got the Big Eyes Liner by Maybelline, which is the black and the white eyeliner for your waterline on the other side. I've got also that same white in from MAC, I meant to say, sorry. I've got more from Maybelline. I've got Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown um, eyeliner. I've got some from Nude Stick, which are these two shades here. I've got some more from Bobby Brown. So basically just all of my eyeliner colors in there. Now moving along to my concealers. So here I've got two of the um, little, this is from MAC actually, and they're little concealers that I kind of tend to use more for spot concealing. So I wouldn't use this for under my eyes or anything like that. But if I take them out, and I'll show you this quickly. This is the Bye Bye Under Eye um, Corrector by It Cosmetics. Obviously, you would place this under your eye first to color correct before putting any of these concealers on afterwards. So kind of just to name a few and to let you know some of the products that I'm loving and using at the moment. I've got some from Miraness. I've got a whole bunch of the NARS Creamy Custard Concealers because this was my favorite for a very long time. And then I also have one from, I've got a few actually. This is the 24-hour concealer from um, Miraness Cosmetics. I have over here, sorry, some of these have jumped into the wrong compartment. I have the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is probably my favorite one at the moment. Then just to kind of take you through some of my drugstore ones, I've got the L'Oreal True Match um, Concealer. I've got two of them, three of them. <laughs> I've also got a Maybelline one. I've also got the Make, sorry, the MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer, which I was in love with for the longest time. This is, um, if you want full coverage for under eye, it's probably one of the best. And this is the Prep and Prime MAC um, Corrector. So there are all of my concealers. In this compartment here, I've got all of my different mascaras or eyelash primers. This is the 4D Miraness eyelash primer that you would put on before putting on any mascara. I've got this one from Benefit, which is the Their Real um, Mascara, the Bad Girl Lash Mascara. I've got one from Revlon. I've got some more from Miraness. I've got one from Revlon that I haven't opened and just a couple of other ones in there. Back in this section here, which you can't really see, so I'm going to move the camera closer, is kind of like all of my eyelash glue and my um, eyelash curlers and scissors that I would use to kind of cut my eyelashes so that they would fit my eyes. These are my favorite scissors in there from um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then I've just got some other random ones in there. I've got this eyelash curler. I've got a bunch of different eyelash adhesive. Um, my favorite one is actually this one here from Duo. Um, I really like the ones, I probably can't do it now because I'm doing this with one hand, but that have a little stick on the end because it makes it a lot easier when you're applying your eyelash glue. And then I also have this from Kit Cosmetics, which is just a little sharpener um, that both has one for your small um, like lip liner pencils and also big one as well. I've got this Sephora eyelash curler, which I haven't used yet. And this is actually pretty cool, so I might bring it out just to kind of quickly let you guys know what it is. This is actually um, an eyelash curler, but it's an he a heated eyelash curler from Miraness Cosmetics. Um, it's not working at the moment because it doesn't have any batteries inside, but basically what you do is you pop the batteries down here, you'd flick this switch on, you'd wait for it to heat up, and then that green light will obviously go green. That's how you'll know it'll be ready to use. And then you kind of hold that up. Actually, if I show you on this angle, you'll be able to see more. When I push up on that tab, you'll see that it actually um, heats the front and the back of the lashes. So you would hold that into place for about 10 seconds and then you would release and then your lashes will stay nice and curled all day because of the heated mechanism. So that's pretty cool. 
Moving along to the second drawer, I've got all of my lipsticks and lip liners. I'm not going to go through all of the shades and kind of tell you all the names of the products, but I'm just going to kind of give you an overview. In this front section here, I've got all of my matte lipsticks. I probably have a 50 more of these stashed around in different handbags that I wasn't bothered to bring out. So they're all of my matte lipsticks, which are one of my favorites. And then here I've got more lipsticks just from random brands. I've got everything from Maybelline to L'Oreal to Gerard Cosmetics. I've got some from NARS, I've got Kat Von D, um, so just all different lipsticks there. This section here could probably be a little bit better organized because it's got all of my um, lipsticks and lip liners kind of in the same thing so i think i want to separate them next time but anyway just to kind of name a few i've got the kylie cosmetic um, matte lipsticks i've got some matte lipsticks and lip glosses from ColourPop. i've got lip liner from mina cosmetics i've got makeup hey come back I've got the Makeup Forever lip liner. I've got Kardashian Beauty. I've got Napoleon. So just a whole bunch of different lip liners and lipsticks and more back here. Kat Von D Everlasting um, Liquid Lipstick. I've got a Givenchy lipstick that I haven't opened. Just some lip glosses. I've got the Too Faced Melted um, Chocolate Gloss and just some more um, different ones in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just quickly pan over to this second drawer here only because it's also lipstick so I kind of want to keep the categories together so in this front section here I've got some two-in-one lipsticks from Mirina's Cosmetics. I just want to quickly show you what I mean by two-in-one. As you can see, there's two different shades. I am going to be doing a lip swatch video on all of these um, to let you know why there's two shades in there and what makes them super cool. So I'll be demonstrating all of those. And then I've got some more um, Forever Lips lip Forever Lipsticks by Miraness Cosmetics. And then back here, I've just got more random lipsticks and lip glosses. Some from, most of these are from Miraness, but then I also have just some random ones in there, like um, Revlon, I think that's Revlon. This is Black China, um, Lashed by Black China, sorry. And just some whole different ones in there. Moving back to this drawer and going to the third one. So now we're going into my bronzers and blushes and highlighters. So basically, um, just move these back they're not really they're kind of in an order they're kind of not so this front section here kind of has all of my um my bronzers so i've got some um this is the mineralize um skin finish by mac in shade medium dark i've got color pop bronzer this is the um super shock cheek in shade poolside oh my god that was a tongue twister i've got some bronzing powders from um mac probably one of my most used. I've got some from Miraness. I've got the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in shade bronze. I've got um, I've got a few of these, so I might as well just show you all together. So this is the Hourglass Ambient Diffused Light Setting Powder. I use this under my eyes to set my concealer. I've been using them for the longest time, and it's my absolute favorite. And then, of course, I've got Hoola by Benefit. I've got two of those um, just because they are also a favorite. Moving back here, I've got a um, Anastasia. It's a refill from the shade Banana for Under Eye, which I really like. I've got the Revlon Sculpt and Highlight Contour Kit. I've got another bronzer by NARS studio 10 um, what's this the radiant radiance glow bronzing veil I've also got some highlighters from um, Becca this is I've got champagne pop and I've also got of course moonlight I've got the Laura Mercier um, translucent powder and I've got one more powder here this is oh, such pretty packaging from Miraness it is the forever diamonds powder so I love that if we shift over here to the right I've got more of my um so I've got some from Benefit, I've got a couple from NARS, I know that I've got Deep Throat and I've got Orgasm, I've got, uh, this is from Mina, the blush shade 103, oops, I've also got um, some from Chanel, I've got some Drugstore, this is the model's prefer um, desk to date and this is actually one of my favourite, really good for Drugstore, very, very pigmented, okay, that's all I'm going to say, this is the Miraness um, Custom Colour Lip and tint blush oh my god i can't speak today 
Moving back here, I've got some more blushes. Now this I just want to kind of open up and show you. It's so pretty. It's a mineral marble blush. And if I just swatch it for you like that, oh my God, it's so, so pretty. So I've got a few different shades of that by Miraness. I've got this beautiful Dior Cherry Bloom that I haven't opened. It was a gift from the Blonde Avenue, um, my very close friend, but I don't want to open it just because it's so pretty. And this is also super shock cheek between the sheets um this is also a blush from Colourpop. And back here, I've also got some more blushes. This is the um, Stick Up and Glow Face Highlighter from Miraness Cosmetics. I've got two shades there. Last night, I just want to let you guys know that I did a clean out of my makeup. So I was trying to kind of organize it. It doesn't really look that organized. Um, but I also chucked away a lot of my old makeup that was kind of outdated and that I didn't use. So um, I chucked away a lot. So in this Second last draw here. Now we're moving into palettes. So I'll take you through that. I've got here my Z palette with my favorite um, MAC blushes and MAC eyeshadows that I kind of reach for day to day. This is also, um, I've kind of put this together as my travel pack. So this is what I would take when I'm going traveling. I've got Tarte palette in bloom, one of my favorite. Naked Urban Decay, Too Faced Chocolate Powder, Chocolate Powder. It's the chocolate bar. What are you talking about? Um, Kat Von D shade and light. I've got the cream contour palette by Anastasia and I've got some Morphe eyeshadow palettes under there. I've got this one here, which is the world famous neutrals from Benefit. These are Kit Cosmetics. This is the Mac palette that I had put together and I took out the shades to put in that Z palette. Um, Stiller. I've got a contour kit from Anastasia. That's the powders. I've also got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And I think back here, I've also got this is just like the Morphe's. Um, this is some blushes in there as well. So do you want to see inside? I'll show you inside. They're actually really pretty. This is really hard to do with one hand. Um, really, really pigmented. So they're really gorgeous. And this was really, really cheap. So good price point. The very last drawer on this side has all of my foundations and some of my setting sprays. Um, so basically, oops, sorry, I'm just like sitting on a chair trying to do this. So in here, I've got all of my, um, like a complete idiot, I covered the microphone on my camera so you can't hear anything. So that's why I'm choosing to do this part in voiceover. I'm just going through my foundation at this point, letting you know that I have a lot of the True Match foundations. I've got some of the Makeup Forever. I've got a lot of the MAC Studio Fix, as you can see me pulling them out all now. Um, probably my most used foundation would be MAC Studio Fix. I've got some from Clinique. I've got this beautiful Marc Jacobs foundation, which is really expensive, but definitely worth it. Full coverage foundation. And then I've just got a whole bunch of random foundations as well. Probably need to clean this out. When I cleaned out all my makeup last night, I didn't really go through my foundations, but I'm sure some in there are probably, they need to go into the bin. Oh, and I also have this, which is the Miraness um, 3-in-1 Contour Stick, which is also really super cool. I did a video on that. And back here, I've got my setting spray. So I've got the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix setting spray, and I've also got the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup setting spray in full size. And then I've got... Where is it? <laughs> a little um, travel size one as well. So that's all from, oops, get back in there. That's all from that side. So moving along to this side over here now. In this top drawer, I have all of my, um, basically kind of like my primers, my skincare type of drawer, kind of something like that. So let me take you, a f take you through a few of these. So I've got the Eternal Youth Dr. Lewin's um, that's kind of like, I guess, a moisturizer. I've got the Marc Jacobs primer, which I love, and the MAC Strobe Cream Primer, which is an all-time favorite. So I've got uh, some Osmosis Skincare. I've got the Miraness Youth Switch DNA Stem Cell Booster Face Serum. I've got two of them. I've also got the, um, actually, I never use this, so don't need to talk about that. I've got the Miraness. This is the um, tone correcting primer. Now, I don't care. Let me just, this is going to be hard. What I was meant to say was, I don't care how hard it is to open this with one hand. I'm going to show you. Oh, there I am. Hello in the mirror. Um, I just want to show you how pretty this is. So this is a tone correcting um, primer and it's just gorgeous. I might actually do a video to show you how to use this because it's super cool and it's a new product that I recently um, got my hands on from Miraness. So, oh, and look how cute that is. 
little stay beautiful in the mirror just there. So cute. Packaging is always good for the mirror nest. So back here, I've got some more primers. I've got the Avon Luxe Fabulous Finish Primer. And then I've just got a whole random primers in here. So I've got some from Benefit for Professional Osmosis. And I've got some hand creams. In this section here, I've got some more Dr. Lewin's. Um, this is the Eternal Youth Day and Night Serum. I've got the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. You guys would have heard me speak about this many times. It is one of my absolute favorite for skin type and just repairing overall I've got the under eye gel and some serum there as well and this is just some of my um, uh, basically blender cleanser solid what is this this is what I use to clean my brushes and my beauty blenders so as you can see they definitely need a clean I've got some of them here and then I also have some of my glam glow products so these are two face masks I have this which is I thought was a face mask but it's not it's the glam glow glow starters basically like an illuminating um, moisturizer so you would put this on under your foundation just to give you a natural glow throughout the day and then I've also got another hydrating cream there so that's this top drawer sorry if I'm speaking really fast but I'm just trying to get through it because I'm, my lunch is in the oven and it's almost done. The second drawer you've seen is all of my lipsticks. In the third drawer here, I think there's lashes. Yes, there is. I'm not going to go through all of them, but just to kind of name a few, I've name a few. I've got the Eye Lua, I've got the Velua, I've got Glam Eyes by Manicure, I've got Red Cherry, I've got a whole bunch of lashes. Christina, um, probably my absolute favorite if you haven't seen in my other videos is the Red Cherry 415 or the Christina 43. So they're my absolute favorites. This drawer here, I'm not going to show you because basically I am accumulating stuff for another giveaway. So I want it to be a surprise. So I'm not going to show you, but the last drawer and let me just get off the chair here and come down just to show you guys. Everyone's got the um, random drawer and this is my random drawer. So basically it's got everything from samples to like face masks to hand masks to um, basically like cleansing wipes. Um, I've got, what's this? Nail strengthener, tissues. Um, that, what's this? Body plumping cream. Oh, I bought this cream. This is pure leaf. It's, um, basically <laughs> I'm laughing because I don't even know if this stuff works, but I bought it. You're supposed to apply this to the areas of the body that you want to plump, like your breasts or your bum and its body. Let it focus. Cause this is really annoying me. Body plumping cream. So um, yeah, don't know if that works. I'll let you guys know. Um, yeah, and it's just some more random stuff in here. So that's my random drawer. So that's it for my makeup collection video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, then please like and please subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.